Hey y'all, it's Morgan from thinkatheist.com and today we're going to quickly go over why do free thinkers bother? This is going to quote from Ludwig Fronbach. My only wish is this, to transform friends of God into friends of man, believers into thinkers, devotees of prayer into devotees of work, candidates for thereafter into students of the world. Christians who, by their own admission, are half animal, half angel, into persons, into whole persons. Now, with that said, free thinkers are often asked, Why do you spend so much time arguing about religion when you don't believe in it? Here are two answers. Answer number one. Many free thinkers believe that some religions are inherently harmful to humanity and that just as believers have a right to express their views on religion, free thinkers have a right and sometimes even a moral responsibility to let their views be heard. Here are some examples of how religion is harmful. Religion often encourages bigotry, hatred, and intolerance. It often prevents rational discussion of important issues such as abortion and euthanasia. It has inspired many wars and continues to make peace very difficult to achieve in such places as Northern Ireland and the Middle East. It often inspires religious zealots to commit acts of terrorism. It often tends to destroy its believers' sense of personal responsibility, and it is often mentally and emotionally unhealthy. Of course, religion is not all bad, but we still have an obligation to speak out against the aspects of religions that are harmful. A quote from Bertrand Russell, Religion prevents our children from having a rational education. Religion prevents us from removing the fundamental causes of war. Religion prevents us from teaching the ethic of scientific cooperation in place of old fierce doctrines of sin and punishment. It is possible that mankind is on the threshold of a golden age, but if so, it will be necessary first to slay the dragon that guards the door. And this dragon is religion. Answer number two. Sometimes free thinkers are compelled to speak out in order to protect to protect themselves from aggressive religiousness. Here in the USA, there is a small but politically powerful group of religiously bigoted theists who are trying to use the power of the government to force non-theists and theists of different religions to follow dictates of their superstition. Not only of the government to force non-theists and theists of different religions to follow the dictates of their superstition. Not only do they want to secure special rights for themselves, but they want to make sure that religious minorities and other groups, such as homosexuals, don't get the legal protection that everyone in this country is entitled to have. As a blatant example of this religious bigotry, consider the following quote from a U.S. president. No, I don't know that atheists should be considered citizens, nor should they be considered patriots. This is one nation under God. Now that was said by George Bush Sr. Free thinkers have a responsibility to speak out against these bigots. Done.